No way. What in the world? That thing is huge. Whoa. That might be the biggest wolf spider I've ever seen. Under the cover of darkness, the dry, sandy Florida scrub becomes a whole new world full of crazy creatures. Giant cockroaches roam from out of their homes. Praying mantises fill the trees with life. But one group of animals asserts their dominance as the apex predators out here at night, the wolf spiders. These elusive predators are out on the prowl every night. And with the Florida scrub boasting some of the highest wolf spider diversity out of any habitats in North America, there are bound to be some absolutely massive ones out here. I'm Mikey Green, and my goal is to show just how little we really know about the strange creatures living their hidden lives all around us. Tonight, we're joined by the spider hunter himself, Spencer Hoffman from My Wild Backyard, in search for a species of wolf spider in serious contention for the title of the largest in the US. Meet the Osceola wolf spider. This little known species only found in Florida reaches sizes comparable to the infamous Carolina wolf spider, often considered the largest wolf spider species and one of the largest spiders here in North America. But their nocturnal habits and very restricted range make it extremely difficult to find. That's why Spencer and I are employing an interesting strategy to find these giant wolf spiders. Why are we out here with flashlights looking for these wolf spiders? Well, it's kind of dark. We wouldn't be able to see without them. Wow. So basically, what we're doing with these flashlights is that these wolf spiders actually have reflective eyes. So wolf spider eyes are actually pretty cool. They have eight different eyes all over their face, and each one, each set of two actually kind of have different purposes. So wolf spider eyes basically help them become the perfect nocturnal predators. The front two eyes actually have this little membrane in the back called a tapetum lucidum, and it's actually basically the same thing that a lot of cats and other predatory mammals have, which allows them to basically amplify lights. It's pitch black out here for eyes like mine and Mikey's. We can't see anything when the lights are on. But for a wolf spider, even the tiniest bit of photons hitting that membrane means they can amplify it and actually get a picture of their surroundings. Using this tactic, the sandy ground of the scrub looks more like the starry night sky full of hundreds of tiny eyes reflecting right back at us. Following all this eye shine led to Spencer and I coming across hundreds of smaller wolf spiders, but that enormous Osceola wolf spider seemed to evade us until I finally came up on the right set of eyes. That thing is huge! Whoa! That might be the biggest wolf spider I've ever seen! Perfect. I see the eye shine. Got her? Yeah. Great catch. And... Got her. Look at how big this wolf spider right here is. <laughs> oh, it's a monster. Enormous Osceola wolf spider. Biggest wolf spider I've ever seen. And one of the biggest spiders here in North America. All right, this right here that I have in this container is the Osceola wolf spider. Hogna Osceola. This is definitely the biggest wolf spider I have ever seen in my entire life. And definitely one of the biggest Spencer over here has seen too, right? Yeah, it's a monster, man. Yeah, and dare I say, this might potentially even be one of, if not the largest wolf spiders here in North America. Now, the reason I'm not entirely confident is about that is because there is another species that you might have actually heard of, the Carolina wolf spider. Hogna carolinensis. This is actually one of the most common and most widespread species of wolf spiders all across North America, ranging all the way from the northeastern states through down to Florida and all the way out west into Arizona. Seriously a huge range, and that contrasts heavily from this one right here. The Osceola wolf spider is endemic to the Florida Peninsula, which means you can find them in central and southern Florida and nowhere else in the entire world. And it's not just range specific. These are incredibly habitat specific too. Unlike the Carolina wolf spiders, which can be found in a variety of different habitats throughout their range, the Osceola wolf spider can only be found in these sand pine 
white sand scrub habitats in central and southern Florida. This limited range and very rare nature makes these very hard to study and because of that they are poorly known and not as well understood as their Carolina counterparts. One thing holds true, this is definitely one of the largest and this is definitely the biggest I've ever seen. So to show that off, I am going to take this out of the container, put it onto my hand. So here she is, this beautiful Hogna Osceola wolf spider just sitting perfectly still on my hand. Now she's a little bit aggravated because I took her out of the container and she could tell that she's on another living organism that might be trying to hurt it. However, as you can see, Right now, she seems to be getting used to this strange surface that she's sitting on. Now, yes, I keep calling her a female. This is definitely a female. Wolf spider females, along with actually most other invertebrates, are larger because they need to store those eggs. But anyways, just check out how enormous this Hogna Osceola is. I can actually feel her weighing down on my hand. I'm actually not worried at all holding this enormous wolf spider. You might think of wolf spiders as some dangerous spiders because of just how large they are and how huge those fangs are and the fact that they are venomous. However, wolf spiders are actually harmless to humans. Their venom is pretty much entirely used only for being able to catch their prey. These guys don't really build elaborate webs to catch their prey, instead being more of an active hunter, being out scanning the bottom at nighttime, using their insane speed to be able to catch up to prey and then envenomate it with those huge fangs so they can power down any insect they want and be able to eat it. A Hogna Osceola of this size is gonna be able to take down pretty much any insect out here in this scrub habitat. There is not many invertebrates that are larger than this Hogna Osceola out here in this ecosystem. And it shows that these things are eating really good out here if they're able to grow to these massive sizes. It is not just the venom and those massive fangs as well as their amazing speed that helps these wolf spiders hunt for their prey. It is also their amazing vision. If you look really closely right at the front of this wolf spider, you can see these two really big eyes right in the middle of their face, surrounded by some smaller eyes. These wolf spiders, some amazing nighttime vision out here in these habitats for them to search for whatever prey they want out here in the sandy cover in this scrub ecosystem. Now you might be wondering, how am I able to tell that this is an Osceola wolf spider and not one of the many other species of wolf spiders, including the Carolina wolf spider, which like I said, is similar in size and can also be found here in Florida. Hogna Osceola is pretty distinctive in the fact that it's basically patternless. Many Hognas are kind of mottled or streaky in patterns, but these Hogna Osceolas are pretty much entirely a subdued reddish brown color with only a faint stripe on the cephalothorax or the prosoma. And the legs almost have this kind of pinkish tinge to them that's reflective. And the abdomen or the epistosoma is pretty much patternless. It's just this kind of light tan color throughout, and that really helps them blend in with the mixed litter on here, a mix of that white sand and that kind of reddish brown sand pine, those dead pine needles, as well as the scrub oaks that make these kind of brown dead leaf litter that covers the ground. These blend in really well with that. This is exactly what I love about getting here in nature and just exploring and looking for stuff. You never know when you'll find just enormous and just impressively sized spider is this one that is as rare as it is and as unique as it is i feel like it is a good time to get this spider released back out into this habitat so it can catch itself some more insect prey